Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. I just want to wish everyone a happy new year and thank you guys for all of your love and support on my channel. Um, this is going to be a full moon in Cancer, lunar eclipse reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This very powerful, watery, first full moon of the decade is going to be highly emotional and a time when your intuition is running at an all-time high. It's a time when secrets will be revealed to you and your attention and focus will be on the home and family and your emotions are going to be super strongly impacted. This Cancer Full Moon Lunar Eclipse represents a moment of completion and a cycle of closure for many of us. It also asks us to look back to the new moon that we had in Cancer in July 2019 and see what you started, what you're manifesting now, and also how you're reaping the fruits of your labor over these last six months. This Cancer full moon is opposing loads of planets in Capricorn, so it's a great time to declutter and shed things that are no longer working for you. This full moon spread that I'm going to do is going to give you messages and insights into how to manifest for your highest good, but also what it is that you guys need to release and to start and to kick off 2020 with a bang and the best version of yourselves, okay? So I'm just going to ask our angels, our ancestors, our loved ones who have passed, and our spirit guides to please give us the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for this full moon lunar eclipse reading. While I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment and share, and then also ring that notification bell if you guys want to get updates when I upload anything new. Okay, so what messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for this lunar eclipse, full moon in Cancer? What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Right, you guys, I do apologize for any distraction. I do have the windows open. Um, so you might hear I've been battling these little chickens who like little chicks that want to come in and eat the dog food. And anyway, it's just been crazy. So you might hear some of that going on. All right, so Cancer, let's go ahead and get into this reading. As you guys know, I'm, my son is in Cancer, so my fellow Cancers, I love you. Welcome to this reading. The overall energy here is the Page of Pentacles. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, which you might have in your chart, or you might be exhibiting these qualities or dealing with somebody with these qualities as well. The Page of Pentacles in reverse is telling me that you, you're wanting to start something new, but you're not feeling quite confident enough, like you haven't quite prepared. And as a Cancer, preparation, as you know, is super important, right? So it's like you want to start this new cycle, but you feel like there's just something that's not quite, you're not quite ready for it. And the hanged man energy is asking you just to surrender to it. Don't be so afraid. Don't try to be so perfectionist. And yes, as we're going through this Capricorn period, okay, and as the moon is opposing loads of planets that are in Capricorn, you know, it's maybe it's a time for you to stop micromanaging, pull back, just use your intuition, okay? Because I know for us Cancers, preparedness is super important. Two of Swords is like the decision has been made. This new direction is starting, whether you like it or you don't. Now, Cancers, we often tend to hold on to the past, okay? But now is the time to not do that. Obviously, we can look back with nostalgia. We can make an assessment. Again, take a look back at what you started in the new moon back in July of 2019, how far you've come, and if you're manifesting what it is that you want to. But the decision is made. The ball has already started rolling, Okay, and don't worry, you have done the work whether you believe it or not. And you are becoming the master of your own craft 
and of your own destiny. It looks like in 2019 there was loads of heartbreak for you, okay, and it might have done your head in, it might have really lowered your self-esteem, okay, but Cancer, now is not the time to focus on that. Now is a new era, Okay, but do make sure, okay, like I know that we need to be prepared and we want to plan. Make sure that you, there we go. Someone's kicking off and telling me, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. All right, but I know you're trying to start something new and you might not feel confident about doing it. You might not feel the best about some of you. I'm getting like body image or you might not feel like you are where you want to be with your finances. Okay, but it's okay, cancer. Even if you look back to 2019 and the new moon that we did have, you know, maybe you're a little bit disappointed in what you have achieved since, or what you haven't achieved since then. But Spirit says, don't worry, Cancer. This new eclipse season, this new year, 2020, this new decade is going to bring you a lot of peace, a lot of joy, and a lot of abundance, okay? And I can see that here in this reading. All right, so the first card out is where are you right now in your life? Some of my cancers might be sitting around enjoying family life. Some of you might have just recently started a family or have talked to your partner about starting this family. The Six of Cups is all about balance. It's a soulmate card. So for some of you, this might speak to a love relationship. For others of you, it's just going to talk about any sort of relationship that you have in business, in family, in love, or even with your higher self that's extremely balanced. And it's one that you know you've taken a long time to nurture and you know and you've grown with this relationship a lot and i see that you're giving equally to a thought an idea a person a project a relationship because that's exactly what you want to receive in return so the six of cups energy cancer scorpio pisces is absolutely gorgeous energy for us now how you guys are presenting yourself to the world okay even though we do have that page of pentacles in reverse there feeling a little bit timid, saying maybe I'm not quite ready for this, you know, I'm not ready, I don't want to do it. You are presenting yourself as somebody who actually knows what they're doing. But it does seem like Cancer with this page of swords, this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, that you are wielding quite a big sword for a little person. Again, this could speak to you maybe starting out a new project that people didn't understand or know that you had any knowledge or experience in. And although your experience might be new you might not have a lot of experience your knowledge and your preparedness because cancer you are prepared i know you guys i know we don't really jump into anything without knowing what we're doing right or we don't say things before we know the actual truth and so people are really seeing like wow cancer's you know really holding it together has got this giant sword or this great idea and is really going for it and is starting out with this brand new direction and people see you with that strength and that vitality and they're a little bit surprised i'm getting that people are surprised like whoa look at cancer did you know cancer could paint did you know cancer could you know whatever wanted to be a mom or a dad did you know cancer you know had an online business they haven't talked to about with anybody okay so it's that type of energy now what is blocking you here we do have the king of swords the King of Swords is all about um, generosity. You know, he's somebody who is a born leader. Again, it's more Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, which again, you guys might have these in your chart or you just might be exhibiting these qualities or it might be another person. It could be a boss or a father figure. It could be somebody that you're in a relationship with. It could be romantic or otherwise, right? So you want to take this how this resonates. But the King of Swords as your block, I'm getting more than anything, it's kind of you. And it's kind of you because like with, with how you're you're presenting yourself and what's blocking you remember swords if we take the s off it's words and cancer i know that we don't like to talk about something until we're ready you know we're not going to talk about how successful we are at something or you know until we've achieved a certain amount of satisfaction and success within that relationship or with that job or with that creative endeavor whatever it might be the knight of swords is kind of holding you back because it's kind of like being too black and white about something now, the Knight of Swords is very assertive, very generous, very good with words, very black and white, very balanced and very just, but he's also a very, very generous leader. He does what's right, okay, for everyone who is involved. Now, I'm not saying that you're not, you're being unkind or you're being a hoarder or you're being miserly or anything like that, but more than anything, I'm getting that you're not communicating or you have some sort of fear of communicating 
because you don't feel like everything is perfect yet. And I'm really sort of getting that here with this reading, Cancer. Please let go a little bit of that perfectionism, okay? The King of Swords is somebody who's very intellectual, very logical. It could be like a lawyer or a judge type person. It's like you want to know and have all of these details. And Spirit is saying, you know, but there might not be a perfect time. You might not have everything that you might that you need and you're such a highly in, or we are such a highly intuitive sign that you know maybe it's time to rely on your intuition and let the books you know like stop being so you know concerned with memorizing every word in the book or having every every piece of the puzzle perfectly in order you know it's time to sort of take this leap show people what you can do shine Okay, because again, with the Six of Cups energy, I'm getting this is something that you've done before. Okay, maybe it's not exactly the same thing, or you've done this in another lifetime. So if some of you are starting a new business, and for some of you, I am getting that you're starting a healing business, okay, or you're starting like an online tarot business, or you're just jumping off into something new. For some of you, you might be going to law school, okay, or you might just be going back to, you know, getting, you know, getting your master's or your PhD or something along those lines, but it's something that, you know, you've wanted to do since you were a child or something that you've always had a proclivity or a tendency to do or research or, you know, maybe you've always had, you know, a super interest in, you know, animals and so now you've decided to finally go and become a veterinarian or you've been really interested in dinosaurs and you're going to get your, you know, your PhD and, you know, and whatever in archaeology or anthropology, okay? Um, so anyway, so don't let that hold you back. Don't let, you know, sort of, I feel like this is you seeing, you know, too weighing things too heavily. All right. Again, I do apologize about the chirping. Those little chickens, they're really getting on my nerves. <laughs> All right. But it's okay. Patience. Patience is a virtue, right? Okay. So what, that's sort of what's blocking you. Again, it could also be a person. It could be somebody also telling you. You know, cancers, we can be sometimes a little bit susceptible to people telling us, you know, bad things are going to happen or you shouldn't do it. It's too expensive or maybe you're not smart enough to become a veterinarian or, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you're like starting to see the negative sides of things. And it's somebody that you trust and it might be sort of pull, holding you back. But you know what? It's now is the time to not listen or pay attention um, to those people and those words and those communications any longer. Okay, just excuse me one moment. I'm so sorry about that. Um, just a few distractions that I uh, needed to get rid of. Okay, so finally, the obstacles that are that are showing up in your the obstacles that are showing up for you in this lunar eclipse, full moon, and Cancer reading. Here we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles in reverse really takes me back to the Three of Pentacles. It's about like doing all of the work. There might be things, again, that you're starting out. Again, I feel like with this page of pentacles in reverse, I feel like you feel, Cancer, like you're not ready to, to take this next step. And maybe you haven't had enough time to prepare for whatever it might be, okay? And the Four of Cups, it's, but I'm thinking it's, I'm feeling it's more of a state of mind than the actual truth of the matter. But the Three of Pentacles is like, you want to perfect everything. And this is really, really creating a block for you. This is you holding on, okay, to, I need this, I need everything to be perfect. I need to know everything before I take the next step. I need to, you know, I need to learn more. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. But the universe is saying, Cancer, you are ready. It's time to let go. It's time to release these fears. You are ready to embark on 2020, all right, you're ready to start this journey. You're equipped and also you are so well equipped with your highly effective and um, and you guys are the, we're the most intuitive sign of the zodiac. 
So I'm not saying just wing it, but spirit is kind of saying, stop being such a perfectionist. You can wing it. And truthfully, you're not winging it because clearly you have prepared. You're just a little bit afraid. Okay. Um, what you can do within to achieve your goals. Here we have the four of cups. This is about meditation, okay? In other cards, the Four of Cups is a little bit of disappointment. It might be that you're missing a blessing. But in this card, in this card, I actually really love it because he's sort of gridded himself here and he's meditating and he's really taking this time to focus on what it is he wants, setting his intentions, asking for guidance, angelic help from spirit guides, from spirit. Okay, this is what I need to know. This is what I need to do. What, what is my next step? Because I do feel like you guys are a little bit afraid here, okay? That you're a little bit afraid of making a mistake, all right? So please, asking for guidance, going within, checking, really, is this what you want? Because why are you on this journey? You know, if you look back at last July, the new moon in Cancer, you know, what is it that you started manifesting? And has it come to fruition? Does it still work for you? Or do you have to course correct? Do you have to change? But there was a reason. There is a reason you are where you are and you're doing what you're doing. All right. And you may have lost touch with that. Okay. So spirit is saying, go within, do that inner work, that meditation, see, okay, where you are, just do that internal virus scan. And what are it, and what you're reaping? Okay. The fruits of your labor, what you're reaping, are they worth it? Okay, is it what you actually want? And I think you're actually going to find out that it is. I do feel like cancer that we're just a little bit afraid to let go. Okay, um, what you can learn from the outside world or from others. Here we have the six of pentacles. I love this because we've got two fours, we've got two sixes, and we've got the page and the king. All right, sixes are all about balance, and the six of pentacles is all about equal give and take. And this is about you. Again, the Six of Cups talks about a relationship. It's, kind of, it's a soulmate type relationship. It's a relationship where two people are giving the same amount of love, time, money, effort, energy to this relationship. And it could be with you and your higher self. But the Six of Pentacles now talks about resources. So it could be about your job. But it's, again, where everything is completely balanced. Cancer, you have a lot to offer people, okay? You have a lot more than you think to offer people, whether that comes in the form of healing, whether that comes in the form of time, energy, love, or resources, okay? And Spirit is saying it's now it's time to share those resources. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to communicate. Don't be afraid to show the world who you are and what you can do, okay? You might not be perfect. You might not be the master, but you're on the way to mastering yourself or your craft or this relationship or clearing out, you know, this sort of toxic old negative behavior patterns, relationships, people, etc. Okay. That have sort of been plaguing cancer throughout the last decade. All right. And your projected outcome here, I've got the devil. This is Capricorn energy. Again, remember this full moon is completely opposed to lots of planets that are in Capricorn and it's really a nice time to declutter and see what isn't working for you and the, the devil in reverse. Oftentimes it will speak to addictions, overeating, over drinking, over social media, over thinking, but now is the time, Cancer, for you to stop over overing, okay? And what I mean by that is to start thinking about yourself. Start thinking about what is best for cancer. Look at yourself as if you were your best friend. Listen to how you talk to yourself. Listen to and watch what you put in your body if you're getting enough rest. If you're, if you're making the money that you're worth, okay? Are you selling yourself short? Are you in a relationship with somebody where there isn't an equal give and take? That now is the time to change. It's the time to declutter. And this devil card right there in the middle says that's what you're going to do. But don't be afraid. Okay, don't set up an excuse system for why you can't move out of where you are right now. Okay, and whether we're talking relationships, whether we're talking job, we're talking home, we're talking finance. Okay, whatever it might be, my dearest Cancers. All right, so additional messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for this lunar eclipse full moon and Cancer reading. 
Okay, we have yin and yang. We have 22, which is a master number. For some of you guys, you guys have been manifesting a soulmate and you are manifesting the person that is going to complete you. Okay, again, remember, nobody actually completes us. We complete ourselves. But you're going to find someone or something that makes you feel like you've come home. I think a lot of you, if this, if this resonates with you in a love situation here, this is about you finding that other half. We've got this soulmate card here and we've got the six of pentacles card. You guys might have to release a relationship or a person or belief system that you're not worthy of this. Okay. In order to, in order to, in order to embrace and receive, because remember the six of pentacles is all about giving and receiving. And many of my cancers, you guys have been over giving and that's created an imbalance. And now is a time to open yourself up to receiving so you can, you can receive what it is for your highest good. And for many of you, that's going to be like a life partner, a soulmate. It could even be a twin flame. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what else. I love this for us, Cancer. It's absolutely gorgeous. You may have met someone or you will be meeting somebody. Remember my full moon readings go from, you know, the full moon that we have now in Cancer until the next full moon, which is going to be in Leo, but I don't have the exact date. All right, so let's go ahead and see what additional messages do you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. <clears throat> angel of strength. Okay. I love that because that's a message from spirit. You are divinely protected. Again, I might be speaking very strongly to some of my cancer Leo cuspers out there, but the angel of strength is saying, you can do this. I know that you're a little bit afraid, but this new direction, the ball has already started. You started manifesting whatever this is, a new direction in life, a new partner, a new job, a new home, whatever it might be. Don't be afraid. Don't stop now. But truthfully, you can't stop the ball from rolling. You know, it's a boulder and it's picking up speed. So just be strong. Breathe into it. Go with it, Cancer. Release what no longer serves you. Embrace. It's so scary sometimes to be successful. And I know that sounds really weird because, you know, some people just won't understand that. But that means just deprogramming these negative thoughts that we've had about ourselves for so long, whether that's in love, whether that's in money, whether that's in whatever relationship. I mean, it's totally nuts. Wow. I love that for you guys, you know, and again, for some of you, I get, you know, this is going to be talking to some people who have pets. You might be surrounded by your pets at this moment. Okay. You might find a lot of strength in sort of petting them, uh, talking to them. You know, most of us do talk to our animals, um, you know, and find sort of strength and guidance with nature and being in nature and with them. All right. But you guys, you have an angel of strength that is smiling down on you. All right. Let's go ahead and pull some mermaid oracles for additional messages for cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Here we have the magic of the Coel and Druid, caution, secrecy, and wary. So again, I, I was picking up on this with the Page of Swords. I feel like you guys have been hiding something or deliberately not talking about a project or whatever it is you're trying to manifest. <laughs> you know, and we've got two 22s coming out here. For a lot of you, you guys, this is all about soulmate, twin flame energy. You guys have been manifesting, trying to manifest and are manifesting like a boss, but you are manifesting this person, this soulmate, this twin flame, whether or not you like it or not, you do have to release someone, some relationships or some thought patterns to open yourself up to receiving because cancer, you guys deserve it. But whatever this is, you know, you guys have been very cautious. You've been very secretive, secretive about it. You might have even been telling yourself like, oh, I don't want love. Oh, I don't want this. You know, I don't need this. I don't need that. But truthfully, that's exactly what you've been manifesting. This is a number nine, you guys. Nines are near completion, all right? And with this, with this page of swords energy, and I get this sort of timidness here with cancer, with opening up about what it is you really want, now is the time to do it. You need the strength to do it. You need to be open to receiving because what's coming your way, six of cups, six of pentacles, yin yang and then we've got another 22 divine sensuality making love and erotica now this is could speak to some sexual healing that needs to take place but this speaks to me to a relationship that is coming your way that you've been manifesting that you've been wanting 
for a really long time. And you know, ready or not, here, here, here it comes, Cancer. So be strong. You know, it's kind of like when you're in the ocean and a big wave is coming to you and it's too late to run away from it. You know, it's time to duck under and face that wave head on. And that is very scary, Cancer. I know that because I'm one of you, but this is actually really beautiful. You know, and I feel like also with this page of pentacles in reverse, it could be something that you kind of already knew that started and you tried to put the brakes on, okay? So, sorry, I just dropped it card that wanted to come out we have surrender i can release my need to control duh cancer you can't control everything if you feel like you know there's you know i need everything needs to be perfect i need to be the perfect weight i need to my hair needs to be perfect i need to have the x amount of money in my bank before you know i can meet the one or whatever mm -mm, mm -mm. spirit saying surrender to it it's coming that big wave is coming and it's too late to run away here we have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Again, for some of you, this might be a reunion of some type because the Six of Cups is all about a reunion. It could be in this lifetime or it could speak to another lifetime cancer. It could also be somebody that you had started a relationship with and it never really got it never really kicked up or got off the ground for one reason or the other. I feel like you might have even put the brakes on it because it kind of felt weird. You know, it felt weird to be winning. You know, I feel like here you need to release those toxic behavior patterns. And also it speaks to that. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So I think also like giving up on those relationships. Some of you might be in negative toxic relationships where you're over giving. And you might have the opportunity to release that. But you're so comfortable in that space that it's going to be scary for you. But spirit saying, you know, ready or not, here I come. You know, and something really balanced and beautiful is coming your way. Like really, really beautiful, you guys. So, you know, spirit, I don't think spirit's going to let you miss that or let us miss that opportunity, but it will require for you to be strong. And I feel like it's going to require you guys reprogramming a lot of your thoughts and beliefs, either about love, about attraction, and also about like, you know, what you deserve. Because cancer, we deserve this. We deserve stability. We deserve, I love, I'm looking at this old couple here. We deserve to grow old with somebody who loves us, who respects us, who treats us well. You know, where there's an equal exchange of time and energy and love. You know, someone that you genuinely like, love to make love to. You know, because they feel like your other half. And this is what that reading is talking about. Now, not for all of you, it's not going to resonate as a love relationship, okay? For others, it's going to be talking about maybe even just the relationship you have with your higher self, but finally taking care of yourself, Cancer. Not trying to take care of everybody else and overgiving and overextending and stepping into the power of you and the power of taking care of you. Final message for Cancer is Kuan Yin Compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. I love this because this is actually more than anything cancer, what I was just saying. So thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. Compassion. Be compassionate, cancer. You guys deserve this. Don't run away. Remember that wave is coming and it's like if you try to run away right now, you're just going to get pummeled. All right, but it's still going to suck you under, but go towards it. Be strong. You deserve this. I know it's something that you've probably talked yourself out of before, but you guys, we deserve love. Okay, we deserve all of the good things. Please be optimistic. Raise that vibration because this beautiful awesomeness is coming to you, whether you like it or not. All right, Cancers, I love you guys so much. Thank you for your patience um, with all these distractions. Please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, and share. If and only if that's something that you like to do. And remember, I love you guys so much. And ring that notification bell if you guys want to get updates. And please do check out my new, um, my January 2020 career and finance readings for each signs. All right, you guys, I love you. Thank you.